Gail, can you please tell me the story of how you guys met? I started working for him in 76. Time so ago. How, how long have you guys been together now? Oh, what? 40. Six years. Ralph Klein married us. Oh my god, I love that. Uh, where was that, Gail? Yeah. At the Premier's <laughs> office. <laughs> yeah. In Calgary. Have some fruit. <laughs> Thanks for coming to breakfast, guys. Called this emergency meeting because I think we need to call Shireen in. She needs to be a part of this now. It's, a, it's time. We've just been super busy. A lot of stuff's going on. Shit's been hitting the fan. Let's do it. It's been too wild. It's been very wild. Buck wild. Wild. <laughs> My name is Kylie, and I am a hostess manager at Buck Wild. I love being a hostess at Bucks because I am a people person. I enjoy the fact that I get to dress up and do my hair and makeup the way I want to. At night, shit gets whack sometimes. Lots of fights, lots of couples breaking up in front of you. Uh, like, I'll just be sitting there doing my job, and then next thing I know, I've got all my bosses, my other managers running out, and all hell is breaking loose. <laughs> but it's entertaining. There's nothing wrong with Karens. I know a pretty cool one. But these three ladies are the biggest Karens you'll ever see. Fuck, I gotta go. Here they come. The Complainus Americanum, or better known as the North American Karen. Karens may appear to be quiet and unassuming, but they're one of the most dangerous creatures on the planet. A minimus wages, the Karen's natural prey. He unassumingly walks into the Karen's vast territory. The Karen adjusts her posture. Now fully erect, unlike her husband, she's ready to strike. The Karen attacks with full force. Karens stun their prey with a variety of techniques, causing chaos and confusion. She's used to dominating, and today is no different. The Minimus Wages never stood a chance. The Karen is victorious. Her meal conked. Her hunger for undeserved respect is satisfied. For now. I'm out. No, no, no. no. I got it. I want it. I want the sales. Back off. I'm Darby Hauser. I work at Buck Wilds on Lakeshore Drive. I love the people. I love the chaos. It's organized chaos most of the time, but it keeps things interesting anyways. My name is Will. This is the first place I've ever served. It was definitely a big uh, jump in right from the beginning. Oh, Will. So it started last summer. He was just a little baby server. He had never served before. Every shift, he would ask me what I rang out, and I would tell him, and he was just shocked. Over last summer, me and her had a competition. He was like, one day, I'm gonna beat you. And it took the whole summer, but he worked his ass off and he beat me one night. I think I've done a pretty good job so far. I think he's getting a little cocky. I'm letting him be a little comfortable. You know, you gotta hit people where they least expect it. I believe I came in second or third last year in sales and Darby crushed it in first. So this year we're having another competition about it. He did want to challenge me this year. He thinks that throughout the whole summer, he'll get more total sales than I will, but there's no way I'm letting that happen. Will Darble, I'm coming for you. Hi, Shireen. I just called an emergency manager meeting with everybody, and I think that we need you back. It's been too crazy down on Lakeshore. Yeah, we're just at Hazard County right now for breakfast. We'll see you soon. Bye. So what are your thoughts on street meat? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Blakely, can you go mop out the freezer, please? The freezer? Yeah, the freezer. All right. Hey, I'm Shereen. I opened Buck Wilds in 2014. I love my staff, my managers are amazing, but I just got a call that they need me, so I'm back.
When I opened Buck Wilds, I had absolutely nothing to my name. I was 26. I had a four-year-old daughter at the time, and I literally built it from nothing. Zero. Probably should have gone broke five times. <laughs> Almost dead. Meat that hey. they sell on the street. Hi, Shireen. Oh, hi, Shireen. How are things going, you guys? Well, what's going on? I thought that uh, we were good, but I think I can tell by your voices and everything that I'm hearing that you might be ready for me to come back. I think it'd be a lot smoother if you were back. Okay. <laughs> I think yeah, it's time. It's just... been a couple issues. So I'm super relieved Shereen is coming back. It's going to help uh, take a lot of stress off everybody's shoulders. Thank you so much. Thanks for ordering my food, you guys. Close. Okay, so basically the phone call that I've been getting is that, um, you know, a mixture of the town, AGLC, RCMP. It's been really busy on Lakeshore. Oh, it's so weird being back. Like, it, no. Yeah. <laughs> You're here. I know, I'm here. And where's Kyla? I heard that she wanted to be with her kids more often. They were upset that she's not home as often anymore. Okay, that's hard. Yeah. yeah. That's really hard, okay. I know something's going on with Kyla. Spending time with your kids is so incredibly important. I didn't have that luxury when I first started Buck Wilds, so I protect that for everyone else now, especially my managers. You get really lost working in this industry, but I don't want Kyla to lose herself and this time with her kids right now, so I gotta step up again. Look how nice the sailboats are. Hi, ladies. Oh, how are we oh, doing? Hi. Oh, Darby. Yes. You know I like to have ice in my wine. And here's how to spot a Karen in the wild. There's always something wrong with their food or their drink. They always, always, always have to talk to a manager. They know the owner, even though they can't pronounce her name right. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. No worries. Oh, every time. Can I get a side of ice, please? Yeah, I don't know, the the Karens, they, they love bucks. Uh, they love love the young men that come in. Uh, they do like to complain, but, you know, we gotta kiss a little ass here and there to make those big bucks. Oh, I wish I had ice right now. So I have your ice for so you, I'm so sorry about oh, that. Oh, thanks, Darby. Of course. I, I really Anytime. appreciate it. Anytime. It's perfect. All right, amazing. Thank you. Do, do you want the rest? Oh. I'll save it for oh. later. Yeah, yeah, Perfect. you just leave it. I don't know. You got it. Yes, I'll get it. <laughs> That didn't work at all. Are you though? I'm sorry, that sounded so fast and aggressive. You want something that's sweet, something hot? Do you want to try the mermaid one? Let's get those wings out of the way for you if you'd like. Uh, of course, like, those are the six that are on special. But like, sounds good. I tried. No. No, I'm at I'm at 180 right now. So what are you going to do? I don't know. It's Wednesday, so it's like I'm at goals two. Honestly, I think two, two? is reasonable. Mine's 2001, so. Probably not now. Is this shaking shit? No. Bye. Can you go help me with the garbage? Yeah, of course. Thank you. And so it begins, hey? Yep. Uh oh. Jack and Gail are the kind of customers that come in and you want to know. You can tell they're in love, there's something about them. This is why we do this. Get to know your customers, but Jack and Gail are beauties. And then we all went to Vegas. Together. Alf and Colleen and no, Jack and I. Yeah. And, Gail and, I. Off yeah. to Vegas went. and you didn't get in any trouble at all? None. Zero. None. Never. No. <laughs> do you want a tequila right now? No. Or are you only on the run? We already had run. Oh, okay. <laughs> They'll tell me I should back off that. You're not allowed to tequila anymore? One. One a day? One, maybe two. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> and you listen, Jack? No. No. He never listens to anything. Hey, it's Kyla. So, today, 
It was a very hard day for me. It was a really hard decision for me. So I've decided to step down.